Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a smudge edit in Krita. I'm using this picture of a very pretty girl I found on Pinterest. Now disclaimer, I am in no way a professional photo editor, I just know my way a bit around photo manipulation. This video is just to give you tips so you can explore picture editing further on Krita. Just in case you don't know how to import a picture, go to layer, click on import slash export and click import layer. Then select your image and adjust it. Now I'm just duplicating the layer cause I like having the original picture to reference back to. I'm making the duplicate above invisible and now it's time for smudging on the one below. The brush I'm using is the Blender Basic with the opacity around 50. And the size you use should depend on the type of picture you're smudging and also how intense you want the smudge effect. You should not forget to smudge the clothes too. Depending on the hair type and again the effect you're going for, you can choose to smudge the hair. But this type of afro hair has a lot of texture and I don't want to draw over it because it will just look cartoonish, that's not what I'm going for. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'll change the color later. After using the blender basic, go back with the blender blur and smoothen things up. You might have to repeat this step a couple times even further down the editing process. Just stop when you get the look you want. Now I'm creating a new layer above and I'm just setting it to color. With the color picker, I'm choosing a general skin color and painting with the basic one brush. I'm using the airbrush soft for the skin areas around the tattoo. Next, I'm adjusting the color and if you want to do this, just go to filter, click adjust and click color balance. I'm only playing around with mid-tone range. If you're too worried about the spaces, you can go back and recolor them, but I'm just going to leave them and blend everything out later. I'm using the blender blur to just soften the edges of the color filter. In a new layer set to color, I'm doing the same thing for her top, coloring it blue and adjusting the mid-tones. I just love how you can change colors with this and it still looks very real. You can use this effect for like an edit of a product or clothing with multiple colors. Instead of snapping multiple pictures, just snap one and change the color multiple times. Again, I'm softening the edge with the blender blur and I'm just repeating this process for the lips, creating a new layer above, setting it to color and adjusting the color. At this point, the picture was looking a little too light, so I created a new layer that was below the lips and clothes layer but above the skin layer. I set it to burn and went over the skin with a very light brown, and I reduced the opacity of the layer to around 50. Next thing I'm doing on a new layer is to darken the shadows to give it a bit more contrast. I'm using the airbrush salt for this and I'm also going over the highlights with the lighter color to make them pop a bit. Now I'm 
Now I realize that I need to remove the white space on the canvas, so I'm just grouping everything together. It gets weird looking, but everything normalizes when all the layers are in the group. I'm going to image, clicking on resize canvas, and then I'm just adjusting the height of the canvas. I decided to just blur the background for this one because it would be tricky trying to put her in a whole new background. So I duplicated the base picture and I'm cleaning the background of the first one as best as I can. Now on the second duplicate, I'm going to go to filter, I'm clicking blur and then motion blur. With the blender blow, I'm just softening the edges of the duplicate above and um, the one without the motion blow. <laughs> I'm seeing blur a lot in this shot. For the hair, I'm setting a new layer to color and I'm just painting over with the airbrush soft. I like the color this way so I'm not going to adjust it or anything. I'm going back to her top and I'm just making the shadows darker on another layer. The skin tone still looks a bit light to me so I'm setting a new layer above the skin color layer to burn and I'm reducing the opacity to about 12. I didn't do anything to the jewelry cause it wasn't needed, but if your picture requires it then you should totally touch up the jewelry. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about this video. If you want me to do a more cartoonish smudge edit or if you have any video requests, then DM me on Instagram. My handle is Katz's at on all platforms. Now this is the before and after results and I hope I'll see you in my next video.